Thank you for joining me. This is Tim DeLeo with using WindowsHomeServer.com. In this video, I will show you how to install and operate the ASOF AutoExit 2010 add-in for Windows Server, codename Veil. The ASOF AutoExit add-in can be used to manage your client machines on the network by giving you the option to shut down or reboot, all from within the Windows Server dashboard. With the use of this add-in, messages can be sent to the clients and you can connect via remote desktop. You can also use this add-in to shut the server down. Let's get started, shall we? If you're installing this add-in from a machine that already has the Veil connector software, you can just double-click on the AutoExit add-in and walk through the installation process. For me, my Veilbox is a test machine, so I'm going to right mouse click and copy the WSSX file. Then I'm going to remote in to my server and I'm going to paste. This pastes the auto exit installer package onto the desktop. Once I have the auto exit installer copied onto my desktop, I'll just double click. This will take me through the installation process. Again, since Veil is a beta software, the publisher will not be verified and click on install. There is a license agreement. Read through the license agreement and click on accept. And then click on install the add-in. The add-in takes just a moment to install. Click on Close. Once you've done that, just drag the Auto Exit icon to the trash. Now, let's run the installer for the desktop PC. In this current version of Auto Exit, the installer for the PC must be run separately. Right mouse click on Auto Exit Client. Click on Run as Administrator. Now you'll see here that it says that ASOFT Auto Exit 2010 for Windows Home Server is currently running. Close all instances now and click on OK to continue. I will go, I will right mouse click, I will exit. Now this is my 2009 version for my other box, but I'll click on yes, then I'll click on OK, and it'll take me through the wizard. I'll click on next, I'll read the license agreement, and accept, click on next, and then I'll click on install. I'll click on finish, and you can see now that it has auto exit for Windows Home Server client. For me, I'll customize, make sure it shows the icon and notifications, which is what I prefer, and now we're ready to go. Once you've completed the auto exit client installation, connect back to your Windows Server codename Veil and open the dashboard. In this release, you will need to install the auto exit client on each of the computers you wish to be able to control. You can see here is the FIS that you're used to seeing for previous versions. I can click on this and you can see that I have all the information that I need. Before I start, I'll go right to configure and make any changes that I need for the add-in. For example, I can change the message, change the amount of seconds before shutdown, whether or not to force the shutdown, and then also to warn a user if I choose to enable the server shutdown. For the most part though, I will be using the auto exit tab. You can see here that it shows the name of the computer, the description, and whether it's on or offline. Now we'd like to see something a little different because it's very difficult to see whether it's on or offline at a quick glance. But you can see that I have HTPC online. Now I can go to the side here and shut down, reboot, uh, remote desktop, etc., etc. So I'll click on remote desktop. 
You can see it also has my IP address, MAC address, et cetera, et cetera, listed down here. Give it a few seconds to connect through the network and to do the remote desktop connection. And now I will connect to HTPC3. You can see now that I have access to everything that I need to through this computer. To log off, all I need to do is close the window and it will end my remote desktop services session. When I'm done, I can either right mouse click and bring down the menu, for example, shut down, or I can go to the task menu here. So I will click on shut down and it will now send a 30 second warning to that computer that I'm shutting down. One final thing to remember, when using the ASOF Auto Exit 2010 add-in for Windows Server codename Veil, keep in mind that only computers that have been connected through the Veil connector will show up in the Auto Exit tab. Any computers that run the regular Auto Exit client add-in that are not connected will not show up. And one final note, I would not mind seeing the ability to add a computer that's not connected through the connector itself. For example, the computer that I'm on and my HTPC are not connected through the Veil connector software. So it'd be nice to be able to actually right mouse click and add in a MAC address name description to connect to the ASOF AutoExit 2010 add-in for Windows Server codename Veil.